আবারও আমন্ত্রণ আন্তর্জাতিক সম্পর্ক উন্নয়ন বিষয়ক আটটিবির বিশেষ অনুষ্ঠান ডিপ্লোম্যাটিক জোনে কথা বলছিলাম ইউএনএইডস এর বাংলাদেশ প্রতিনিধি লিওকের সঙ্গে वेलकम अगेन थैंक यू so i want to ask you another question after the first case of detection in uh, 1989 more than 3000 people actually died so how we can ensure a better treatment for them yes 3000 people didn't die we, we, what we have done is detected 3274 Uh, cumulative mm -hmm. cases of HIV. Of those, about 1,200-1,300 uh, have developed into uh, AIDS, full-blown AIDS, and uh, over the years there's been about uh, just under 500 deaths. Um, but, you know, treatment has become such commonplace, and the cost of treatment has uh, really come down so much that it, it's affordable. Um, And, uh, you know, people who, the, the earlier people can get on treatment, the better. And that's what the new WHO guidelines suggest. Um, I don't want to get too technical, but at the, the moment, many countries uh, start treating people when their blood count, CD4 count, gets to uh, 350. Now, if you do it earlier and you treat people at a level of 500, Uh, we've seen the efficacy of the treatment is better and uh, and of course the viral load the amount of hiv in the blood also significantly decreases and that means that uh, people who are hiv positive um, you know don't don't transmit the the disease as easily but there's no real uh, way of getting around uh, ensuring that sexual relations are safe and uh, and uh, you know for young people out there please try to delay sexual uh, encounters until you are married or until you mm -hmm. uh, care for somebody uh, if you must uh, engage in sex uh, at an early age make sure that you're protected uh, use a condom mm -hmm. but um, make sure that it's everybody's business to prevent hiv uh, there's no individual point individual has to be actually involved here the individual, the individual has to be yes. yes they have to be accountable uh, everybody has everybody. to be accountable for this you know and uh, that's where i think uh, there's been great uh, global progress but in the end it's up to the individual to protect themselves so uh, through the prevalence of idus So MSM and transgender um, varies. At present, prevalence of AIDS is less than 0.1%. Mm. So in general population, mm. actually. So in Bangladesh, uh, what do you say in this Well, subject? you know, that's, uh, as you say, rightly say, it's low prevalence in the general population. But there's 150 million mm -hmm. people out there. Um, but amongst uh, the most at risk populations, and they are sex workers, transgender, hijra injecting drug users etc um the the uh, the prevalence is very much higher now there have been very good inroads made amongst injecting drug users in old dhaka for example some years ago uh, the surveillance showed that the uh, prevalence was up around 11% um that appears to have been reduced to to uh, around 7 and now around 5 although the last surveillance i think that um, bangladesh again needs to be congratulated for example for recognizing the rights of hijra populations that's a way which reduces stigma and uh, will encourage uh, those populations to seek services prevention are not getting to testing early enough they're not getting treated early enough and and that's why it's difficult to eliminate the become the, severe the actually exactly. later mm -hmm. yes yeah. so um now do you think this uh, hiv and aids related things should be added to the syllabus of textbook very yeah. much so mm -hmm. and you know there's ways of doing it uh, which are sensitive culturally and and age wise um unicef and unfpa uh, have a lot of global experience on Uh, life skills based education they have a lot of experience in making services youth friendly mm -hmm. um can you imagine a young person going to a hospital and 
wondering how they're going to get an HIV test, you know. So making sure that kids are educated in schools and making sure that if they need the services. Uh, media can play a very important role here. Critical so role. what's your suggestion? Yes, uh, and as I said uh, at the beginning, uh, thanks to RTV, mm. these sorts of programs are, are very important. Um, but radio, television, I mean, I, I, I noticed on World AIDS Day uh, with a, a local radio station, which I can't mention here, I suppose, but um, it was a young people's program and I, uh, I was just talking about HIV with the disc jockey and uh, you don't call them disc jockeys, do you? You call mm -hmm. them disc, what, what do you call uh, them? RJ. RJs, RJs, yes, RJs, RJs, right. And, uh, you know, young people started, uh, you know, texting in, mm -hmm. saying, you know, who is this guy? And you know, <laughs> I'd love to see more things like that. Um, there are some big opportunities coming up now where the media can play a, a very important role. Um, for example, around the, the T20 Cricket Cup uh, in mm -hmm, a couple of yes. months' time, um, by having ambassadors and, you know, Shakib Hassan has, has been a, Hassan. and he's been a, a very important uh, uh, ambassador for young people. They, young kids love him, young people yes. love mm -hmm. him and they listen to him. And it was very interesting last year when we did a, a, um, a thing called Think Wise and uh, Shakib was a uh, uh, I was very pleased to meet him actually, but he was sitting there and all the media uh, were there and uh, uh, he started, he gave these messages that we had, had uh, you know, helped him design. Okay. And then some of the journalists, they asked him, well, Shakib, you know, you're saying these things, but do you really know what you're talking <laughs> about? You know? And in fact, to his credit, mm. he knew exactly what he was talking okay. about. <laughs> and so, you know, people like that are, are very critical. This important person actually can play a very uh, vital role, actually. They From those, uh, they can reach more people, actually. And again, media in a very short time reach most of the people. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Okay, so, uh, my another question to you is, uh, according to the 2011 Serological Surveillance of Bangladesh, that shows that uh, HIV prevalence among female sex workers and uh, MSW, MSM and transgenders was 0.7%. Mm. So what's your opinion? Yes, uh, you know, again, uh, the, w these are uh, populations who are at high risk uh, because of uh, the, the type of uh, work that they engage in. Um, you know, uh, uh, although it wasn't as high as uh, as the uh, injecting drug use community, uh, that's still very significant, 0 0.7 right across the, uh, you know, the group of uh, most at risk populations. The Ministry of Law and Justice and, and very important uh, groups of people, uh, Sultana Kamal and Sarah Hussain and, and chief uh, really important lawyers here got together with us, with the Ministry, the State Minister of uh, of uh, law and justice and we looked at a whole range of uh, policies and laws which were so-called punitive which actually contributed or contribute to uh, the spread of the disease rather than being a facilitative policy and uh, legal environment um, that'll help us to make sure these people don't get stigmatized and they come to treatment and they come to prevention treatment care and support at the same time, education is very important. If you educate them, they will be definitely aware of this type of dangerous diseases. Yes, absolutely. Look, the, uh, it's a very uh, important uh, thing to make sure that we're, we're talking about people. Some people inject drugs. Some people inject drugs and sell sex. Some people inject drugs, sell sex, and happen to be men who have sex with men. They could be male sex workers or transgender or hydra. Mm -hmm. So, but these are people. These are people. people they have mm -hmm. the same rights as you and I. Yes. And if we protect those rights, that's the best way of mm -hmm. ensuring. Um, if rights are met, you will find that the uh, response to HIV really uh, improves in leaps and bounds. Uh, you have a plan to uh, make a conference in 2015. Yes. So will you please share something? You're, you're very well informed. <laughs> you know, again, uh, this is uh, really great leadership by uh, the government of Bangladesh. 
uh, and all the civil society organizations. It's called the International Conference on AIDS in Asia Pacific. Mm -hmm. And uh, Bangladesh uh, is going to host this. Um, uh, it, the uh, bid was put in uh, through ICDDRB, uh, through uh, Partners in Population Development and Bandhu Welfare Society. So it was a, a group of partners and UNAIDS is a co-convener of this. Um, we all went, we had one of the biggest delegations to Bangkok uh, last month. I don't know whether you heard about that. Um, and uh, it was wonderful. Bangladesh put on such a great show when they received the flag. Um, and this will bring, um, you know, three to 4,000 people to Bangladesh next year. So Large amount, yes. yes. Inshallah, there will be peace in this country and uh, Bangladesh will show the wonderful warmth it has in welcoming guests from over 52 countries uh, at the end of 2015. But it's a, we a hope wonderful so, opportunity, inshallah. <laughs> yes, inshallah. <laughs> After 10 years, where do you want to see Bangladesh? Uh, zero new infections and zero... <laughs> Three zeros. <laughs> exactly. I want to see them. Uh, but, um, you know, uh, in 2015, um, the Millennium Development Goals yes. that Bangladesh has done a very good job on has, uh, you know, will uh, be renewed with um, uh, new development goals, sustainable development goals. I think that there's been such good work, but so much unfinished work in the Millennium Development Goals. Uh, and the Bangladesh voice has been a very important one in saying, what happens after 2015? It's been an important voice because Bangladesh is one of the most populous, less developed countries in the world. And uh, it's a credit to you that um, your voice is being heard as a spokes nation of less developed countries. What I hope is that we can see a, an amicable solution, a peaceful solution to the current turmoil so that Bangladesh can realize its tremendous potential so that all sides of the political spectrum and civil society come together. Um, Bangladesh has so much potential to realize and it can provide great leadership. A continuation on the current path would see Bangladesh not reach its goal of being middle income status by you know, uh, 2020. So let's uh, pray for peace and, and let us uh, advocate for peace and let's hope that the leadership in this country uh, can help Bangladesh uh, realize its great potential. Hope for the best actually. Yes. <laughs> so you are here in Bangladesh for a long time, so uh, would you please share to the viewers a uh, few Bengali words? Well, it would be great I, actually. <laughs> <laughs> I always try to remember uh, um, Dame. Dane. And, and Bame. Bame, Dane Bame. And Shoja. Shoja. And, uh, yes. Uh, and again, uh, the and, uh, last thing, Dhunnubad. Uh, Dhunnubad. Dhunnubad. Uh, <laughs> Assalamu alaikum. Uh, alaikum uh, yes. Thank you so much yes. for your valuable time. Thank you very much again. Thank, Thank you. 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 Thank you.